Oh, yeah, these are nice. All right, guys, so we're going to do a quick little interview with Angelina, also known as Angel 179. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can catch her at Angel at, at 179. At 179. On Instagram. On Instagram. Okay, thank you for helping me out with that <laughs> <Okay>. one. <laughs> so, Angel, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Angel 179 or Angelina. Uh, I do murals in Seattle, but I also work at Art Primo. Um, we like to jump around and pay by saying I'm the graffiti librarian because I know ah. about a lot about product, um, but I paint murals. Oh, this is a stock cap too. Yeah, I like yeah, the stock cap. Yeah. I always talk shit about stock tanks, but this stock tank's pretty good. Yeah, it's the gold with the beige. Yeah. And that's a very nice cap. What is your background, Angelina? Uh, I went to, in terms of art, I went to graphic design school and realized I hated computers. <laughs> and so... <laughs> totally all, totally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized that I also like working with the community. I so I guess. started doing, um, doing murals mm -hmm. uh, and canvases and paintings. And as I've grown in Seattle, a lot of people have just kind of attached themselves to the work that I do mm -hmm. because I'm one of the only people that's left in Seattle that was born, grew up, and now is making a career. So people like to use that as a, like, look, this person is, is successful in a, in a really competitive city. It's a coming up story. Yeah, it's totally, it's totally a coming up story. Because mm -hmm. when I first started, I, of course, was doing graffiti. And then I got in trouble for that. You were doing graffiti. I was doing graffiti, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I know so much about the product. Yes. Um, but it's also, you know, learned over time. Mm -hmm. So my aesthetics are rooted in that. So you'll see a lot of the style is like, like hip hop hands. I mm -hmm. do a lot of hip hop hands and mm -hmm. um, understand like the terminology of graffiti, mm -hmm. but also my relationship in terms of what muralis muralism is and street art and then the fine line that they have to walk when it comes in terms of people that actually like graffiti because yeah. there is like a hierarchy there. Good. And so I know I know my place in all of that and I don't <laughs> think a lot of street artists know that. A lot of street so. artists don't. Right. They come from a different background. They come from a different background, right. Yeah, right. I agree, I agree. And that is definitely something we should talk about. In yeah, future. I think in the video we also talk about it. We do, we do we touch do talk on that. We do touch, yeah. We do touch on that. Well, you know, it's it's changed a lot because you yeah. see a lot of people now, they can go to art school yeah. and, uh, or, you know, maybe they're a bit more privileged than others and right. they have the opportunity to come out of high school with a lot more skill set. Right. Skills. And then, I mean, Art Primo, we help with that too because we're so... So, like our philosophy is, be your own grandpa. Pursue the things yeah. that you like. Learn these things, and we kind of, we make it easy for kids. And the ones that really want to pursue and learn do. They do. But I mean, I, I remember it being harder for us because we we were our own grandpas. We, we were, were always there. we were always yeah. the scrappy little tag yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Were grown yeah. up and matured. Yeah. So, tell me, what inspires you? Uh, a lot of nature inspires me. Um, but nature's battle with like trying to stay relevant within a city that's rapidly growing. Mm -hmm. And Seattle's a city that is rapidly growing and you either got to catch up with it or you'll be left behind. And so it's that endurance, I guess. Like um, the salmon going upstream. Yeah, like the salmon going upstream. And mm -hmm. so you'll see a lot of like growthy, viney things, organic mm -hmm. shapes um, and animals like, like salmon and fish. Um, and I'll try to put them I like that trendy word. I like to juxtaposition them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, stop fucking using that word. Clients love it. <laughs> yeah, they do. Clients love it. They do, oh my God. But I love putting that in like mm -hmm. a very urban, like street kind of kind of thing. Like all, amongst, amongst all this gray, there's this huge green wall of like just color. And that's kind of the look that I'm going for. Where it looks like if a tree can grow there, you can grow there. And Almost like a, uh, a plant growing out of the cracks of concrete. Yeah. Yep. Very yeah. much. The persistence of life. Yeah. I love that. You bring light to the walls. There you light go. To the walls. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this cup is tiny. The level one? Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. It's a dope cat. Working them ridges like a rusty yeah. freight car. Yep. All the street artists were too afraid to paint this. <laughs> <laughs> that crew was like, we got it. Yeah. It was all about building.
building color and being patient. I was not being patient. Next question, who is your favorite artist and why? Yeah. I like the Green Ranger. Oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I actually I really like. I have, like I I know you see me lurking on the um, on the stories and liking the things. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I come to work and there's characters on the dumpster, and I'll tell you. <laughs> like I've told like I've told you this numerous times. Like I'll really enjoy like a face, and I like that it's not like you take your cues from popular culture and you paint those. But they themselves are their own, like the culture of memes. Like I think yeah. that that's really impactful and powerful as a way for communication. And so I think when you're doing these like illustrations, like you're doing them for a purpose, which is tutorial, but you're also like creating this persona, <laughs> these, <laughs> these, like, these, these little things of, in of them themselves. And I wish there was a way for us to keep track of them and almost make, not quite a lookbook, but just like a, like a memoir of all of them because you do them for very specific reasons and the way the reasons are just as like important as you painting them and I, and I destroy them all and you destroy them all and that's tight too it's like Buddha sand painting like they're no longer there <laughs> like the Felix or not the Felix and Garfield cat yeah. that one that you just did last week that one was super tight um, the Black Bart, that one was really amazing. He was really cool. He was super cool and he meant so much to the community. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Renee. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Oh my god. That's a little, little uh, chickenies. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's super fun. It's fun, anyone can do it. Yeah. I love graffiti. Who doesn't love graffiti? Oh, a lot of people don't actually. Lame people. Lame. Okay, last question. <clears throat> do you consider mural slash street art to be a fine art or more of an artisan craft such as graphic design, sign painting, pottery, and things yeah. like that. Or maybe it's both or neither. Yeah, I Wh think... What's your, what's your take on that? It's, it's, it, it all comes down to intent. Because uh -huh. we have people that create murals. Like, if you go back to, like, for my, for example, my background is Mexican-American. And so, mm -hmm. when I first started doing art, I was like, oh, I'm going to pull from the farm workers' murals and do things extra political. And then I realized, well, I don't need to be the voice of the whole culture like my art is also for myself mm -hmm. and then so you do murals for your, yourself and you put that in the community but not all not everyone thinks like you yes yeah, so true. you can't it's not it's not can't all the time be fine art because then you're force feeding somebody your message you might as well be a billboard oh yeah yeah that's and true. or like listen to my political statement and you're silencing the rest of the community mm -hmm. And then you have the people that do it commercially and they have clients, which is something that I do. Um, and then, and that's how, what's the difference between that and a billboard? Yeah. Because that, I guess that would be considered a sellout, but also you want to make money off your art. You got to put bread on the table. Yeah, you, exactly. Yeah, so there's all really. kinds of facets. It, it could be fine art. It could, like I said, it, it could be neither. It could not be any commercial or anything. So are you saying the answer is yes? I think the answer is intent. Yes, yes to all. <laughs> yes, to all. <laughs> yes to all and no to all. There we go. That is the artist's answer right yeah, there. Yeah, burn it all. Burn it all to the ground. <laughs> well, this is great. This is very enlightening. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming in to sit down Hell with yeah. me. And uh, I hope we make some other projects in the future. Do you have any other parting words you'd like to say or some shout outs or anything? Um, no, I'm just really thankful that we did this video together. It was really cool it was talking fun. with you. We bantered back and forth. We talked about like the ridges on that wall were really insane. And then it was super windy because it was so high up. It was really windy. It was hella windy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it was, it was, it was awesome. And I like your approach to education because I feel like when, like when I do blogs, I like to educate people on all the facets of what I'm doing mm -hmm. because I want people to be successful in their own art 
and I hated growing up with older like writers and they'd talk shit to me or they wouldn't they felt like their knowledge was exclusive mm -hmm. and I mean I felt that a little bit because I was a woman but it's also yeah. just because I was young and most people that are young get that get that fucking gauntlet thrown at them and it sucks and I feel like that the Green Ranger and like Art Primo we don't subscribe to that like we definitely try to be we don't want to hold your hand but at the same time we understand that it, it's rough it um, is. Well, yeah. it definitely puts hair in your chest, and you need yeah. that a little bit. Yeah. But there needs to be a little bit of a balance. Right. I right. I think. Yeah, for right. sure. I feel that. Well, thank you very much for sitting with me, yeah. and uh, I hope people enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time. Sweet.